All right, guys, welcome back to Happy Place Aquatics. Today, we are going to sport a rise or hot rod, a sponge filter, cheap sponge filter. Sorry about the glare, cheap sponge filter. Got it at my local fish store. For all of you guys that's unfamiliar with sponge filters, break it down for you. Take it apart. It's your sponge. It's pretty, pretty fine. Uh, filters out more, you know, particles than your not your coarse ones. Uh, I have a couple things I like to do to these, so we'll set this to the side for now. You disassemble it. Sponge filter has different chambers, as you can see. Air comes in the top right here through that hole. It travels through the bottom, goes through that hole, comes out that hole, goes into that hole, and then comes out down there. And then, when you're cleaning these, don't forget to take this apart. And don't drop it like I did. Because, you know, water fingers. Sorry about that. So basically, this part connects there, and then this part here connects to the base down here. You usually get some waste that builds up in here and along all of these holes around the edge. Today what we're gonna do is we're gonna make this work like a different sponge filter. What you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna cut all of those ribs out. I got an X-Acto knife, cut, 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 try not to cut your finger, cut it out, looks like that, you pull that out, you're left with that. That little piece right there is really not going to matter, set this aside because you will need this and do the same thing to this one. So this is how you can make your sponge filters quieter. Pull that out. I'm gonna trim this one up because I did a terrible job. That's just for me being slightly, slightly anal about the way I do things. Slightly, not a lot, slightly. You know, some things I can deal with being a little sloppy, but that I just that was just too much. Round hole. Take these two guys, put them back together. You can see completely through it. We'll snap that back onto the base. And essentially that part is done. Set that to the side. And take this guy. We're going to cut to about right there. With the X-Acto knife, you want to leave enough room to where you can take the rounded off top piece right there. You're gonna put it in here, like so. Push it in, or you can do like I'm gonna do, set it on a hard surface and push it till you feel it stop. You should look like that. You'll have a little bit left. You're gonna get yourself a piece of short tubing. You want something that's gonna go over this, but you also don't want this to be way too thick to where it won't go over. And you're gonna, maybe, I might be able to do this. I'm gonna work this on there until you get it all the way as far up as you can. Like so. What I like to do is use an air stone. I'm gonna need a smaller one because it's gotta go down in that hole. I've got some cheap ones I got from Amazon. So we're gonna do it the right way. I'm gonna use some cheap ones. Take this duder. you're going to end up with if I can get it there it's going to look like that like that so you grab your sponge filter you're going to snap it in here let it go down push it until it clicks and 
you have a hot rotted sponge filter that will also be quiet. You're not going to have large bubbles popping the surface. You're going to have smaller bubbles. I don't really have one hooked up yet as I just got these. But I will post another video where I'm, I have these hooked up. So if this is something you would like to do, by all means, give it a shot. You know, I am by no means an expert at anything, but I will try and make things work better and more efficient for my needs. Some of my tanks in my fish room are quite loud. And I have, you know, I have a pretty high volume air pump running them, so I want to make it, you know, quiet. But for now, that's going to be it. As you can see, I have one done there that I just did with you, and then I already did another one. So... Stay tuned for the follow-up video, and we'll see what happens. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe, and remember, it's your hobby. Do it your way.